Welcome back, Keepers of the Flame. All right, we're going to do a read. Virgo's on the brain today, so we're definitely going to start with Virgo. I'm going to try to get as much as I can in between things, and then in the afternoon, I'm going to beat this day, day. And then, oh, weekend's over for traveling, so here we go. So whatever I don't get done, I'll start off with on Monday right away. Then on Tuesday, <laughs> I'm just gonna keep rolling how I can roll for you guys. <laughs> how about that? This I just got at a beautiful store yesterday. Try to support your local spiritual shops, metaphysical shops, whatever you want to call them. Try to support those people. Uh, let's help the movement grow however we can. Put your dollars to where you want it to grow and see flourish. So vote with your dollar. This is the Rose by Tarot and by Harper and Stillwell. So, uh, <laughs> my mother used to call me that all the time, Rosebud. So, In honor of her recent passing, I purchased the deck. So let's see what uh, uh, my closest ancestor has to bring in today. For Virgo. What is happening? This is a lovely, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful deck. Just, ah, oh, I opened it, I was like, oh. Yeah, just gorgeous. And I did cleanse it. I slept with it, put it out in the moon, and all that other good gravy. Oh, oh the candle went out. What's cool about that? Ta -da, da 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 There we go. This will be a rosebud candle. There it is. Starting fresh. All right, Virgo. Ooh, okay. Velocity of fire. Isn't that beautiful? I, I thumbed through the book slightly yesterday when I was unpacking it. So this is new for everybody. New for me, new for you. Fresh start, new moon. What are we manifesting for Virgo? That is a really freaking, I can't stop staring at it. That's a cool card. That's a really cool card. Dark side of the moon vibes. Check your Lilith placements. <clears throat> yes, there's Lilith asteroid and then there's Lilith dark side of the moon. So it's Lilith is actually a point uh, uh, in space that's behind the moon. It's not actually. So when the moon is closest to the planet, so like this moon one we're in right now Lilith is gonna be like hitting hard so when you're you're encountering super moon energies that means the moon is closer to the planet and that means that Lilith is as well so the dark side of the moon holds various points and they find the point by when the super moon comes in they pinpoint it uh, at a specific spot in its orbit as to where Lilith is. So it's not a planet. It's not a it's not on a not on a thing. It's in the space where the moon orbits. It's not a now there is a black or a Lilith asteroid. 
all the all the astros are named after the goddess because uh that was our that was our feminine planet i got blown apart by something uh, i don't think anybody knows what what it was it could have been an asteroid could have been uh, maybe like another planet collided i don't know no clue it could be two plants I do know that Jupiter was supposed to be a, a second at some point. Why am I stuck on this card? Where I go? Why am I stuck on this card? Maybe look into. Maybe look into um, Chinese astrology because this is... Give me also Jigoon vibes. I don't know. Stare at it for a hot second. Pause it if you need to. Go back. All right, Virgo. What is up? What is going on? You want stable and steady. That's not this time, is it? You want it by the books. Drawn out specifically, told you step by step on how to do everything, and everything is just up in the air right now. It's gonna be okay, Virgo. It's gonna be okay. All right. After the forest burns, the <clears throat> the new life that comes. If you can, maybe seek out where there's been fires. Go visit those places. After they do, either you, you, there's people like, especially down south, it's really in the US, it's really popular where they do a burn and then it gives the earth ashes and then provides new growth. So, all the seeds that were lying dormant that now have exposure to more sunlight because there's not as many things growing there or there's nothing growing there, um, you'd be amazed at the beauty that pops up from that. So, Maybe that's what you need to do so you can understand that this is, this looks like horrific terribleness going on right now and it just needs to burn down because we can't, this, whatever we're doing right now has lost its service and its purpose and we need to start something else. Okay. So don't panic about it. It's okay. It's okay. That's how that goes. Okay. So you've got the three of air, the two of air, and the life giver. Okay. So you're broken hearted, but you're full of, like, dude, this is you, Virgo. That's why I'm like, go look at the Chinese zodiac. See what the heck's going on over there. The two of air. So you're, you're feeling it out. You're feeling it out. You're not using your vision. You're like going inside and be like, which way is the best way? And then the life giver. So you have the empress here at the roots of your read, at the base of your read. Thanks for showing up, Mimo. Okay. We called her that because my, never mind. <laughs> Earth. Eight of Earth. So pentacles work. Six of Fire in reverse victory. I don't know if there's reversals in this deck. I don't think there is. Oh, there's Okay, so we'll pardon block. Look that up. Okay. Last two. Ready, Virgo? It was like this. It was sideways, so I'm going to read them up right. The Elder 4 and the Professor 5. Okay, so you have the Hierophant here and the Elder, which is you can't see this card. Sorry, <laughs> I was like, Where is it? I'm trying to point to it. Okay, sorry, son of a monkey's butt. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have the, the divine counterparts here. You do. 
but then you have this. Okay, so you have to be careful when that authority figure comes in. Youth, zero, fool, and reverse. All right, let's get velocity of fire because this is so cool. I love this deck. That's the emperor. <laughs> the elder. And then Professor, six of earth, eight of earth. As above, so below. How beautiful is that? Okay, so, so far, highly recommend this deck. Oh, cool, they go by numbers and said, oh, okay, 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 okay. So I, I read, like, the intro, like this. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Aces. Where's my velocity? Sovereignty is the king's, apparently. Generosity is the queen. So velocity, I bet you it's the knights. Yep. So you have the knight of fire. Unfettered, independent, questioning after cravings creates a never-ending crusade. Satisfaction is an it satisfaction and elusive, if fascinating quarry. I'm gonna put that up to the screen because that's what it said. <laughs> okay. Questioning after cravings creates a never-ending crusade. Satisfaction and elusive, if fascinating quarry. Oof. This just became a rabbit hole, Virgo. This just became a rabbit hole. So you're going to have to work for no victory to get your counterpart and only to be told that blah, 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 blah. Ooh, are you chasing back your heartache? You're chasing back your heartache. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm getting used to the elements in this deck. You're chasing back your heartache. <laughs> there it is. There's the root, darling. The root, the root. My roots, my roots. Okay, well, if you've been here before, you know what this means. Okay, so I, for whatever reason, my nose is uh, you're having weird weather, kids. Just saying, I feel you, Virgo. <laughs> This weirdness is just beyond weird. Okay. If it stays this way, fine. But if it freezes back over, I'm going to have a hissy. Okay. You, oh. This is a lot of facets in one read, Virgo. But it's Virgonian. Mental energy. Okay, so you're not claiming any victories here, but it feels like your counterpart is trying to tell you why. Now, when I say counterpart, I don't always mean that like you have to have a counterpart or even a bestie or whatever coming in and telling you blah, 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 blah. I It could be your cat or your dog. It could be... Uh, just, uh, you're walking in the park and you say to yourself, you know what? This ain't it. This ain't it. And this is why it ain't it. Okay. So something that is part of you that has, uh, a, a say in your life 
um, whether it be through your heart connecting to your mind or if it is uh, an outside source because as as above so below as within so without right so you're working really hard to trace this back Virgo you're working really really hard and it all stems from this right brokenheartedness okay but you are using your intuition here now I know this isn't the intuition card but this is intuition you're you've got two swords in the air and being like don't nobody fuck with me I'm in my feels right now right blind because you're like something's not right here and I can't see it with my eyes what is it okay using some sort of this feels like you're stepping into this new because you're curious about it. This is all new to you. And you're like, what is this? What is this? How do I figure this out? Because I can't see it with my eyes. I don't want to see it with my eyes because the moment I take that blindfold off, all the senses I need are now gone because this kicks in first. This kicks in first. We are trained to perceive through this first. Okay, then, then it's this next, right? And then this and then this. We're not instructed on how to come in here, get sovereign, and ask ourselves the real questions. Where's that rubber meeting the road? And the answer is it's not. Okay, so, okay. So, it's not you, Virgo. It's fucking not you. <laughs> okay, it's not you. It is not you. Um, this is uh, just a, a thing that was, this is a thing. Now, usually in the, the traditional tarot, this would be the Hierophant, which is the religious entity okay so it's not you it's everything else and this is you waking up to it oddly enough this is what awakening looks like <laughs> because if you're if you're using all those senses that the system has to um control you with because they that's what they can tap into is what goes into your face holes that's what they tap into. Watch what you eat. Watch what you put in all your face holes, what you're putting in your ears, your eyes, your nose, your mouth. Watch it. If something feels off, stop doing that thing. Stop eating that thing. Stop watching that thing. Stop, stop lighting the, the candles if it annoys your senses. Get an air filter. Get some plants. Do something. Change your environment so you can get clear and clear. Okay. Okay. All right, Virgo. Got some queen mob up in here. Queen mob. She's being blocked by the rose garden right now. There she is. Ta-da. Okay. What is going on? Okay. I might not have time to read all these, but oof. okay. This one comes up a lot. Uh huh. The same. We're whipping this out today because it's handy dandy. And all my stones are being cleansed right now, so here we go. Okay. Okay. If we if we have anything that's upright, I will read. This deck and I have an agreement. If it's not upright, I ain't reading that. Okay, so this also came out. Common themes for the collective. Imagine that. Okay. So, time. We have time. Isn't it? Ah, we can pull it back. Okay. Three, nine. And that little number coming. All right. 
Bring out. Let's rock this. You ready? Psych girl. Relax, rest, and receive. The sun blazes and burns, sending its blinding expanse of light into the earth. The moon does no such thing. It sits passively, soaking in light from the sun, which it then reflects up to us in gentle, mystical rays of healing nourishment, balance, magic, and restorative rest. Take a lesson from the moon. If you are looking for an answer to question about what to do, stop thinking. Rest instead. Find mindful presence and abiding calm. Then, when the time is right, your answer will arise on Biden. And then you will know what to do. Not just in your mind, but also in your body and spirit. If there is something specific you want, a relationship, object, condition, or outcome, stop chasing after it or wearing yourself out with a frenzied activity. Much like the moon, who will passively absorb the radiant light she calmly shares with the world, staying still and cultivating quiet receptivity is the dynamic that will, that will effectively allow you to draw that which you desire into your life experience. When you chase a cat, you will never catch it. When you sit still and relax, the cat will jump on your lap and happily cuddle up. Stop chasing the cat. Make yourself some tea, relax, take a deep breath, enjoy your cozy environment. Look out of the window at the sky, take a deep breath, slowly and extravagantly inhabit your body. Perhaps establish even more comfort and even more luxury if you wish. Let go of extraneous tasks and responsibilities, revel in your own unique beauty. Smile to yourself and enter into stillness, silence, and space. Take time to take care of yourself and savor the sense that you will have all the time in the world. When you stop desperately searching, ruminating, and pursuing everything you've been looking for, we'll find you. All right, 22... Copper lady right here. The spirits riseth. Fear nothing. Do you know why magicians summon demons and the dead? I will tell you a secret. It is not for the reasons they often profess. It is because there is great power in becoming the master of one's fears. Children worry about the monsters hiding under their beds. When the lights are extinguished, are ghosts hiding in the dark? In truth, each and every one of us holds authority over the invisible realm. We each get to say what we will allow in our environment and what we will not. We each get to command the spirit realm to act in accordance with our will. The opposite paradigm, the belief that we must constantly tremble in fear of evil spirits and unruly demons, has been born and perpetuated through stories told by leaders who would seek to keep their people weak, dependent, and afraid. Possibly, somewhere in your vast, shadowy psyche, you are still a slave to such fears. Otherwise, fear of another variety is gnawing away at you and feeding on your power. Will people like you? Are you good enough? Is the world a lonely place? Is the universe random and indifferent? What if you run out of money? What if you become ill or get in an accident? Is society beyond repair? Become acquainted with the honest about the sneaky fears hiding under your bed and lurking in the dark. From now on, they are your servants. You must be their master. You are no longer a child. You have the necessary wisdom and authority to reject a fear-based belief system. What's more, you are resourceful. You are wise. You can't know the, for the future, what the future holds, but you can know whatever it is, you can face it with equanimity, clarity, and aplomb. 
Relax your body, breathe deeply, and find a baseline of single-minded certainty within you. Now, call up old fears. Don't run from them. Invite them in. And find the power there. Greet them with courage and they will transform. Speak to them with authority. See how simpler and see how they simper and cower before you. Rise the spirits. Conjure the ghosts. Invoke the demons. Henceforth, they are your minions. They will never again rule you. Command them and revel in your power. There's nothing to fear but fear itself. Fear the end. So whatever you're like scared of here, hunt it the F down. <laughs> warrior, warrior. <laughs> All right, 35. That's just me having a, a bout with my morning brew. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, let's rock this. Everlasting farewell. Say goodbye. <laughs> Why is autumn so radiant and its light so golden? It is the season at summer's end. It is the glowing goodbye to yet another happy spell of sunlight, growth, life, and warmth. It is fleeting nature, reminding us that the passing beauty of this life and ephemeral nature of it all, and the pleasures it contains. Something is now passing out of your life permanently, a friendship, a past endeavor, or a dream, or a cherished chapter of your life. Faced with the ending of something, you can often see how divine and lovely it always was. Both past and present take on a luminous quality. If you are noticing that equality now, let it open your heart. Bravely feel the sweetness and sadness of moving away from something special you have experienced and loved. It can be difficult to say goodbye forever, but that is what you are doing now, or whatever you must do. If you are ending a romantic relationship or a friendship that isn't right for you, you must truly end it. This is not the time to desperately cling to an ideal you know in your heart is no longer possible, or it never was. We cannot tell our emotions what to do, so love or rage at this person as you must, but be willing to let them go and then follow through. If someone is ending a relationship with you, respect their wishes to do so. Let go. Grieve. Feel the fullness of the pain that is there, but be willing to bid it a grand and final adieu. You do not need this person or this relationship. You will be fine without them. In time, in fact, you will certainly prosper and thrive. If a loved one is passing out of a material realm, if the humans into the ethereal realm of the spirits, you are indeed saying goodbye to a human form forever. But you are not saying goodbye to an eternal existence or essence. That, like love, can never dissolve or die. Grief will be present, of course, always, always breathe into the pain. Let it bloom like a rose within you. Trying to avoid the pain or shrink away from it is not brave, but cowardly. And it will only cause you to suffer more. But all the while, <clears throat> sorry, remember that you will never bereft it, this person's essence. Their body was finite, but the love and laughter you have shared is indestructible. It is beyond time and space. It abides without end. 
So wave and blow kisses to the temporary form that is now passing away. Let the pain be as bracing as as bracing as a fall wind, chilly but invigorating, a breeze that inevitably blows into every life. And treasure the love that remains. Okay, Virgo. Thanks for the trip. <laughs> Love you. Keep your flame.